Oh, what's up, what's up, my beautiful soul subscribers? Welcome back to Unknown Goddess. Thank you all for your continued love and support for who's been following me for the longest while. Truly appreciate y'all. If this is your first time joining, I welcome you all with love and light. Okay, you guys don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thumbs up the video for when I'm coming with the latest and notification button. Click it on, click on that. All right. Oh my gosh, it's such a hot day today, but it's beautiful. We are out here on the pool. As y'all can see with my girls. Beautiful day today. Beautiful, beautiful day. So I said, let me get them out. All right, y'all. You guys, um, my website is up and running shortly. Should be done within uh, a day or two. Um, but there I'll be able, you be able to book your personal readings there on my website. Um, you'll also be able to book me if you are having a party or a corporate event. Um, that will all be available in the bookings on my website. Okay. Um, this, there'll be other, all, all that information will be there on my website. Okay. So go ahead and check out my other YouTube channel, Living in Personal Style. If you guys did not catch up with those 30 day, 15 minute workouts, go ahead and catch up on those. I will be starting a 12 day challenge straight. No, no days off. Okay. I'll begin that this Sunday, this Sunday, I'll begin that challenge. Okay. All right. But today is the actual full moon. Ooh, what fell out here? This eight in reverse. Oh, somebody's feeling unstable. Somebody's losing everything here. Okay. Somebody's stability is off here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. But anyways, that's that. Anyways, all right, let's get this reading started. Let's get this reading started. There goes that three. Okay, everything that they worked hard for. It's over. That cycle is over with that three. Mm -mm. I feel like somebody could be letting go of a relationship here. Okay, yeah. They're tired of going round and round in that circle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're uprooting their stability. They're letting go of a marriage is what I'm hearing. Somebody's letting go of a marriage. They're in love with you, my collective. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The heart wants what it wants is what I'm hearing. Wow, there go the six. Six of love, honey. Okay? Somebody wants to balance it out with you. Somebody's absolutely in love with you. They had a whole family here, but they find they, 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 I feel like this person right here, um, this could be a Virgo. This person could be a, um, that person could have been, could be a Capricorn. This person could be a Gemini, but they got a lot of love for you, my collective. There it goes. They want a new beginning with you. With this Venus energy, right? With this growth, they're ready for a new opportunity. This is like my Ace of Wands energy right here. Wow. I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them. Yep. This is true love. There go another six. Y'all are lovers. Okay? This person wants a new beginning with you. Okay? They're letting go of a family situation here. There it is. They're letting go of a family situation. Okay? They want a, they want a relationship with you. All right now. All right now. Oh, wow. I didn't even... <laughs> I guess this person can't wait. No, they can't. Oh, wow. Wind is blowing out here today. Okay, yeah. I'm just waiting for this wind to stop, y'all. Okay. Yeah, this person is letting go of a family situation here. Okay, this is an eight again. This is the card that fell out in, in the, as an eight though in a, in the reverse. Okay, yeah. This person is letting go of that foundation. They know they. they I feel like this is y'all. This is the lovers' energy right here. Okay, they're letting go of a family situation. But I feel like what they're doing now with this feminine energy. I feel like what they're doing is get away from here. They're separating their assets. Okay, yeah. With this eight right here, yeah. Wow. 
Let's pull this energy, my collective. Y'all are lovers. This is it. This person's ending a marriage. I feel like they're ending a cycle here with this three. Okay? Mm hmm You see these eights? This is an eight. This is an eight. This is an eight. Eight, eight, eight. This is a past life relationship, past life love. Okay? See the seven right here? This person has finally found the courage to take action. Yeah. This person has finally found the courage to take action. Yeah, this person feels like this is this is a destined partnership here. Okay, with this eight right here. This person, this is y'all are both lovers here. This person really loves you. I feel like what y'all do, y'all y'all communicate. Y'all communicate through the ethers here. Okay. You're gonna get some type of communication from this person. This person has come to express their love to you. Okay. Yeah, they made a final decision here with this six six right here. Okay. Spirit is guiding this person towards you. This is a twin flame connection here. Okay. I feel like the whole time this person was here, they was doing a lot of self-reflecting. I feel like for the longest time with the seven right here, this person has been trying to do, I feel like they've been, like I said, they've been trying to find the courage. But with the seven, this is also about a message as well. I feel like you guys, y'all send messages through the telepathic energy. Y'all come, y'all communicate together. Yeah, y'all do. Yeah, y'all do. But they're making an executive decision here. They cut. They cut. They calling judgment on this right here with this eight. They're closing out this family cycle because they feel like you and them are destined to be. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Let's pull the tarot on this, my collective. Hold on now. Oh, wow. Let's pull the tarot. Let's pull the tarot on this. Well, let me pull the romance oracle on it first. And then, um, get away. This fly is so annoying. Okay, anyway. I'm like a bird, I want to fly away, I don't know where my home is. Okay now, all right now, okay. This person has been doing a lot of reflecting within themselves. Okay, but let's pull the, um, let's pull the romance oracle on this. Yeah, this is definitely a twin flame energy here. Yeah, this person is definitely coming in. They're taking action. They're taking action. I don't feel like they can hide this anymore. Like I said, they feel like you and them are destined to be. Because you see this 12 right here? This is a 12, but a 12, a 1, and a 2 is a 3. Okay? All right. This person had a lot of concerns. And I feel like the concerns were they were worried about what other family members would talk about. They was worried about their family members gossiping. Okay, if they went to this other if they went to this other female here, but this is the female that they were married to. Okay, yeah This is the person who they was, you know f Building a foundation with right But I feel like with that foundation you see this nine right here this person all already knew like you know the, this karmic this uh, I said karmic now I didn't mean to but that's what came out this person knew that they was going they were making these changes but I feel like what they had to do with the seven right here especially with this protection energy because it's like a seven of wands to me this person had to, they were they were persevering for the longest while but they deep down they knew this change was going to come they're bringing something to a finale right here with this nine uh-huh okay let's see what else is going on here let's get the romance oracle on this 
Wow. Oh, okay. That just flew right out. Engagement. It says right here, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This is it right here, my collective. This is a marriage right here. This is a match made in heaven right here, okay? Yeah, this person is coming in to offer us something stable. What else is going on here? Retreat. Not, it's time to disconnect from the world. That's what this person wants to do with you, okay? They're about to free themselves. Didn't I tell you they bring bringing something to a finale? Something is changing here, okay? Yeah, it says true love and romantic feelings and soulmate. Wow. This is it. This is true love and soulmate. Past life soulmate energy. Yes, this is your soulmate. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Didn't I tell you this person's heart wants what it wants? This person's heart wants what it wants. But I feel like this person has been always, you know, with the seven here, they've been very guarded. They've been very guarded. You see how this, this, what is this? Like, I don't know what kind of animal is this, but it looks like a unicorn. It looks like a unicorn, but you see how it's been around this cage in this cage right here? That's the, that's the seven of wands energy I'm picking up on. This person has been trying to, you know, block this energy. They've been really trying their hardest because to them, it's like, damn, how can I love somebody else when I'm already in a relationship? You feel me? They were in a relationship. They were in a marriage. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. But like I said, this person right here with this eight, they're ending a cycle. Okay? They're bringing it to a finale. I feel like they're dealing with the court system here. Like justice is here. Okay? Judgment, making executive decisions here with this eight total with their family members. Okay? I feel like they was afraid of being judged as well. Okay? But it says they, that you are their true love. Y'all are both each other's true love here. Okay? And the romantic feelings are real. And this is a soulmate connection, okay? Yeah. That's that six right here represents the soul connection as well, too. All right, so let's pull this. Yep, there you go, that king of pentacles. He wants to come and offer you something stable, okay? He's been very disciplined about it, but here go the lovers. I can't make it up. There go the lovers, okay? There go the lovers. All right, now. All right, Spirit, let's see what's going on. I split the deck again. This person right here, they've been wanting to make this change. There go that nine right there. They've been wanting to make this change. This person right here with the nine of swords, hot energy, this is like a sleepless night, stressing, anxiety. They were worried about what the family was going to talk about, okay? With, especially with this root chakra. This is representing the family. This person could have been worried about, you know, how their kids are going to feel. They probably have older kids here, okay? But, you know, they probably was worried about how the family was going to you know, gossip about how you want to choose, but how you going to want to be with your lover and leave your family, you know? Oh, let's see. Let's see. I see the justice card. That eight represents justice as well. Okay. This is eight. This is destiny. What's destined to be is destined to be. You feel me? Oh, wow. What's this? Nine of swords fell right back out. This person is very anxious. This person has been sleepless. Okay, they can't stretch. They can't take it anymore. I feel like they were. They're ready to let their guard down. Okay. Four cups. This person has been feeling unfulfilled. Okay, and I feel like because of that, they've been going through this change for the longest time. Okay. This person wants their wish fulfillment. All right. They're very. They're feeling miserable. Let me take it out. Yeah, what's peaking? The Ten of Wands. This person has been... This person right here was peaking at the back. Judgment and Nine of Pentacles. Okay? I feel like what this person was worried about was their financial security here. Okay? But the Ten of Wands is here. This person is feeling burdened. Nine of Pentacles here. And the Judgment is here. And the Four of Cups is here. Okay? This person is tired of having this wishful thinking. Wishful thinking because, see, this offer that they've been getting was always an illusion with that Seven of Cups. They didn't want this offer. Whatever offer that was being given to them, this person didn't want it. And even if they was taking this offer from this person, you know, even when they was making love to this, to this person, they would think about you. They would think about you with that Seven of Cups. They would think about you. There they go. They are in this relationship, this marriage. I told you this is the marriage, the hierophant. There you go. They're in a marriage here. 
Okay? And I feel like what it was right here, they've been dealing with a lot. They've been juggling back and forth. This person's been trying to, you know, I feel like with that, like I said, they was multitasking. This person would take up a lot of things on their hand just to avoid this energy. They was trying to avoid it, but the more they avoid it, the more they felt miserable, the more they felt unfulfilled with this four of cups. Okay? And, 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 and... I feel like for a long time after doing some self-reflecting, this person now realizing after reevaluating, this person had to take the time to reevaluate. Like, look, the reason why I'm finished, and, and I feel like with the judgment here, like I told y'all, this person is making an absolute decision that they're done. They're ready to end it. They're ready to gain their independence. But they wanted to make sure that they was going to be secure, financially secure when they walk out of this situation. And I feel like that's what they've been juggling. Okay, but the whole time they were juggling this person, I feel like whoever they were around in this marriage, they was definitely dealing with somebody or the whole family, a, a lot of responsibilities, because that nine also means a lot of responsibilities, right? This person had a lot of responsibilities, but this person is ready to live their life. Two of Pentacles, there it go, and, and the world card, there it go. They're ending this cycle. I told you they're ending that marriage, okay? Yeah. Yeah. They're ending this marriage. They can't deal with it. There it go. There go that commitment. There go that higher fit. And there go that work card. This person is ending the marriage. They truly want what their heart wants. Okay. I feel like with this five of wands energy, this person who they're with, they have difference of opinions here. They don't get along. They don't see eye to eye. Okay. And this person was, I feel like this person who they were with, they they know because with this two right here this is like my taurus energy as well that hierophant taurus energy here the person who they're with is very difficult this person is very codependent this person likes to argue this person is because i feel like this this person is in isolating energy right now this person is in a withdrawal they feel this person going through some type of change okay they know that this person has changed the person that they're in the relationship with, this marriage with, they know this person is, you could tell when something is coming to an end. It's like, it's like an elephant is in the room. There's so much tension in the air. So I feel like the person who they're with, what they're trying to do is bring a lot of burdens to this person right now who wants to leave them. All right. They're arguing with them. They're fighting with them just to get their attention. They fighting with their, with your person to get some type of reaction. That's what they're doing. They're fighting to get this person's some type of reaction from this person, but they know this person's heart isn't in it anymore. No. No. This person wants to come back and reconcile with you. There go the Three of Cups energy. This person wants to reconcile with you. This is like my Six of Cups energy. Y'all are past life lovers, but y'all been together before. Y'all probably known each other from your childhood. Okay? This person wants a renewal. They want to renew it with you. Could be dealing with an Aquarius here. All right? Yeah. But see, that King of Swords is about to ask this person for a divorce. Okay? They're about to speak their truth. They really are. They really are. All right? Oh. This is coming out a lot. Yeah. They're dealing with someone that's very toxic. Somebody that's trying to keep them bound. Two of Pentacles. Trying to cause delays. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like with the King of Swords here and the Five of Wands here as well and the Ten of Wands, this person, I feel like what they were doing when they were moving in silence here, this person was getting themselves together secretly. With the Two of Pentacles, they, they kept themselves busy because this person was planning. This person knew they was going to end this marriage. So what they were doing, they wanted to make sure when they walked away from this situation, because the person who they with is very, con this person is very competitive. This person likes to argue and fight. Okay. For some of them, they had to get a protective order here over this person from the, from this person, because they know this person is going to want to fight when they tell them the truth. When they be like, yo, when they announce when they tell this person that I want a divorce, this person is going to try to give them a hard time. So this person, I feel like I feel like this King of Swords right here, what he's doing, I feel like with the judgment here, justice here, with the eight here, all together, he's getting some type of advice from an authority figure. Like he's, he went to speak to a lawyer, okay, about if he was to make this change, what would be his responsibility with this nine, okay? He went to go get some authority, some some advice to figure out, you know, what would be my responsibility when I walk away from the situation? Will I be secured? You know what I'm saying? You know, because he's not trying to walk away with no burdens. He want to walk away and have a brand new beginning. He wants a clean slate. 
okay? He want to make sure that he's balanced to come back. This is a twin flame right here, okay? For a long time, I feel like he knew he was wasting his time, but the fear, and I feel like after finding out what he needs to find out, he's ready to announce this King of Swords, World Card, and Hierophant that he's ready to go and with that judgment, okay? So I feel like what he was doing here is rearranging his assets. This masculine was rearranging his assets, okay? Because if he's coming in to offer or she, take it how it resonates, because females are doing it nowadays. But I feel like because the King of Swords is here, what this person is doing, it says when they come in, they want to marry you. I feel like this engagement, yeah, they want to separate. They want to take, they want to, you guys might be um, traveling somewhere as well. Okay? You guys might be traveling somewhere. They don't want to come in with no burdens. They don't want to come in with no burdens. Okay? No. No. But I feel like with the Nine of Swords here, with the fear, the fear was, you know, worrying about leaving his children behind, you know, or what the family was going to talk about, the gossip, you know what I'm saying? But he want to make sure when he comes that you guys are secure, you guys can move on, okay? Yeah. Without any, any drama, any war, any fights, because he know this karmic. He know this karmic like to argue, and I feel like she's already arguing with him. He or she, they're already arguing with your person because your person is already flexing as if they're already single. That's what they're doing. They're already flexing like this. They're already flexing like this. I feel like this person, the King of Swords, already has spoken his truth. But during these arguments and these conflicts right here, he, he heard her say something in regards to, you know, I'll make your life misery with that Four of Cups energy. You want to leave? I can make your life a misery. So with all those arguments that they had over the years with the Ten of Wands, I feel like this is something that he had to prepare himself for, okay? He had to be very strategic. This person had to be very strategic in the way they move right now because I feel like over the years with the arguments here, he realizes like, look, if I don't, by the time I free myself, I want to make sure I can, I have control over my assets. I want to make sure with that eight that I have control, I have the power in my hands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So he's about to free himself. That's exactly what he's doing. He's walking away and he want to make sure he's walking away with that he's secure. Nine of Pentacles. He's secure to create his abundance and move on. Have a new start. All right. And I feel like he's feeling more hopeful now with this star card. He's feeling more hopeful because whoever this authority figure is, wherever he went to this court system here, he went to a place right here this hierophant also re represents an institution so i feel like he went to have speak speak to a lawyer with that king of swords energy he got some authority advice here he went to find out his legal you know his legal responsibilities if he walk away from this marriage yeah the wind is blowing i'm sorry my collective all right this reading came up like a few weeks ago like a month ago okay Oh, wow. Let me just get the rest of it. Okay. Let me see what card blew out here. Yeah. Two of Swords. All right. He's starting to avoid this karmic. Because he see, and I feel like what he was doing, like I said, he was moving in silence because he didn't want the family members arguing with him, fighting with him. He didn't want to, because for a long time with that Nine of Swords energy, he was in fear of making a decision, indecisive energy, because I told you they had arguments before. There was arguments where this karmic said to him, like, look, you want to leave? I can take you for what you got. And for a long time, it wasn't only just that, but he was also in fear. Maybe she's threatened that you won't see your kids or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? He's used to being here for his children's birthday parties and celebrations and things like that. You know what I'm saying? He's used to being there. And he could still be there. But she's going to try to make it difficult, burdened. She's going to try to make it difficult. But the longer he stays there, the more he becomes burdened, the more he becomes unfulfilled, the more he's starting to feel miserable. If she's even trying to make some type of offer to him, it's like he thinks about you. Seven of Cups daydreaming. All right. He daydreams about you. OK, you could be the Aquarius. You know, she was causing a lot of delays. But see, with that two of Pentacles energy, he had to juggle it out. He had to get shit balanced. He had to go find out some legal advice here. Let me get another deck here, my collective. Yeah, in order to make this this judgment here, okay? I feel like he, with that inner calling, it's like you guys are telepathically communicating. You guys send messages through the ethers. You guys communicate. Yes, y'all do. That six also represents communication, all right? 
It also represents compassion, cooperation, you know? Yeah. He knew this karmic was not going to be um, um, cooperative with him. He knew. So in order for that, because, yeah, she likes to argue. She likes to compete, okay? So with that Five of Wands energy, they always had a difference of opinions, and he knew if he didn't go and get his shit legally sorted out the right way to figure out what he could do and get his assets together here, this masculine could not just walk away, and I feel like that's what he's doing now. I feel like that's what he's going to do. He's going to walk away. Cause he wants to, he wants this, he wants to re, he wants this reunion with you. Yeah, contemplating four swords energy, four swords. He's he's learned his lessons in this situation. Okay, this karmic was only in his life to teach him a lesson, a life lesson, and I feel like he's outgrown this karmic now. Yeah, I keep seeing the devil. See, ten of cups, eight of swords, five of cups, and six of swords. He's moving on, but see, it was tight. He had to figure out his solution. He had to figure out a solution because this karmic is always coming with some negative shit. She's always coming with some negative shit. She liked to play victim. And she was going to play a victim on this masculine. Or she was using the kids as a weapon. Ten of Cups. So I feel like what he was doing was giving the illusion with this Ten of Cups. Like everything is all good. The family members right here had all negative type of shit to say. And he didn't, he didn't want to hear it. He didn't want anybody blocking him from making any type of decisions with that Two of Swords energy. Nah, nah. But the whole time he was sitting here and feeling lost and regrets. You know what I'm saying? Not happy. And now with the Five of Cups, he's tired of this. So he's moving on. He's moving on. Six of Swords, he's following his own path. He doesn't want anybody blocking him from making the right decision. He doesn't want anybody coming in to delay his decision with that Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Keep him in this indecisive energy. Six, seven, eight of Swords energy. He's out here twice. Projecting a lot of negative thoughts. He probably told, uh, you know, a particular friend that he could trust. He probably thought, thought that he could talk, tell a particular friend, you know. Man, I ain't happy, man. I think all sorts of negative thoughts. I'm not really truly happy. And his friends and his family is like, well, look at all that you got. Look at that all that you got. Why would you want to leave your family? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's see. Let's get another deck here. Let's see what else is going on here. Let me get another deck, my collective. Hold on now. Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let's get the yin yang oracle here. We're going to end this reading. But this king of swords made his mind up. He can't help the way he feels. I just can't help the way that I feel. Wow. Limitations. He felt limited. That's the nine of swords, two of swords, two of pentacles, fears, five of cups. You know? Try to make him feel guilty. Try to make him feel remorseful. You know? Mm-hmm. Let me clear up these cards. Because this wind is about to close it. But he can't take it anymore. The pressure is coming on heavier with that Ten of Wands. Nine of Swords. The pressure is heavy. His heart wants what it wants. Okay. He's becoming more and more miserable. I feel like some of y'all going to have to travel away. Because this karmic is just not going to. This karmic that he's with. Yeah. He's ready to free himself. He's freeing himself. Okay. Yeah. Executive decisions here with this eight. Closing out this cycle. Moving on. Okay. Let me just pull this uh, yin yang oracle. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me just pull another. Um... Yep. This masculine is leaving. King of Swords or feminine. Take it how it resonates. But somebody spoke their truth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody spoke their truth. Somebody got mental clarity. Yep. There it go. And my decks are shuffled. This limitations had this masculine from in fear of freeing himself. But there go to the freedom. There go to the freedom. There go to freedom. Okay. Okay. There go to freedom. Ooh. There go to decisions. This person had a fork in the road. Basically, look at that. Decisions. This person had to go within. Because you see that yellow? That, that eight also represents that strength. That confidence. Right? And it took a lot of strength for this masculine to do so, to make this decision. Because with the Two of Swords energy, Two of Pentacles energy, I feel like with the Ten of Wands as well, there was a lot of burdens. You know, he had a lot of, a lot of with that Nine, had a lot of responsibilities. You know what I'm saying? A lot on his plate. But after getting that, that authority figure, after getting that advice, wherever he went to, I feel like he found the relief. He found the solution with that Six of Swords energy to move on and follow his path. 
okay? He finally made that decision. He finally made that decision. Okay? Yeah. Because the whole time he was there, he was distancing himself. Retreat or time out. He was distancing himself. He was pulling further and further away from this karmic. Okay? They go to two of swords. Avoidance. He was avoiding her. He started seeing her as a stalemate. Okay? Yeah. Y'all all up in his head. Okay? Yeah, he started distancing himself. Okay? What else is going on here, spirit? Okay, yep, there go that there go that regret. There go that five of cups. Regrets and repression. Repressing his emotions. Okay? Could be dealing with a uh 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 cancer there. All right. But I feel like by this autumn, it says celebrations, gifts, and abundance. There go that three of cups. There go that celebrations, okay? And this celebrations and gifts and abundance as well is probably, you know, with the three of cups energy. It's a reconciliation as well, a healing issues from the past. But I feel like he feel like he was going to miss out on these celebrations or he was waiting on some type of celebration to be over to make this announcement, okay? But I feel like this autumn... This harvest, because you know, with fall, everything withers. Things fall off the trees, things change, things shed. It's time for a rebirth, it's time for change, okay? And that nine also represents transformation. So I feel like with this harvest energy, you probably hear from this person this fall, because this person was in lack and in, in, in doubts for a very long time, okay? They're feeling in lack for not having the energy that they want around them. They was probably celebrating. Maybe they had the abundance. You know what I'm saying? They had it all, the material stuff, but it was not fulfilling to them. They still felt miserable. And there it is. Here we go again. We have the karma, the justice, and the balance. We have the freedom. And we have the mercury energy here. This is communication. Okay? So you're going to hear from this person. Yeah. You're going to hear from this person. Yeah. There go my star card. They're going to spark. They're going to renewal. That's my that's my Aquarius card here, okay? Yeah. There you go. Epiphany and breakthrough. King of Swords energy. Somebody had a breakthrough. I feel like whatever advice they got from them authority figures, yeah, they were able. And they're about to express their truth. There you go, that King of Swords. There it go. There it go, baby. I can't make it up. What else is going on here? Spirit. This person is ready to speak their truth. They got the breakthrough. Yeah, this is an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo here, but they're ready to come and give you some type of stability here. Okay, yeah, they finally found the power and the strength. This person found their power and their strength to make the change. Yeah, they have. Yes, they have, because this person is ready for growth. Okay, and I feel like this growth is what's taking place this summer. Okay, yeah, you are this person's wish fulfillment. Okay, and they're breaking this toxic pattern family. This, this part, the bonds, the patterns, the toxicity has been broken. Okay, and they're getting spiritual guidance from the ancestors. Spirit is guiding this person towards you, like I said. Yeah, because they're dealing with that karmic energy, that dark night. Okay, this person was going through a transformation while they were there. Okay, yeah, this is the Eight of Swords, thoughts and isolating, isolating thoughts. They was hiding their emotions. Yeah, yeah, they were. But in this present moment, this person is feeling gratitude. They're feeling abundant. And that's what this person wants, okay? This is what they want. They got, ooh. There it go, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Didn't I tell you with that air sign? All right, somebody got mental clarity because the person who they're dealing with is very deceptive, okay? Mm -hmm. This person tried to offer them something with that four of cups, but they turn it down. This person is trying to tempt them to keep them around, okay? Anything else, Spirit? Anything? Ooh. But who they coming for? The Divine Feminine. This is who they coming for. They coming for you, Divine Femme. Okay? Because what's destined to be is destined to be. There go to fate. There go divine intervention. This person got clarity. This person's third eye is now open. They're awakening to this connection. Okay? Yeah, they letting go of this family situation. Home and commitments. Okay? They want to commit to you. Okay? And they go to integration. Yeah. This person, I feel like with the guilt and the sabotage, that's the nine of swords energy. They felt guilty to letting go, but they go to six of cups, nostalgia. They couldn't stop thinking about you. 
Okay, they was dealing with this clingy karmic, and there go the facades and the beliefs. That's the hierophant. They're taking off the mask, okay? Because this person was, this person do believe in family. They do believe in, you know, the traditional ways of doing things. But at this point, it's like, it's not even, it's, it's not, it's not a complete, it's not complete. It's all about the kids, you know? Anything else, spirit? This person has strong romantic feelings for you, and they can't help themselves. I just can't help the way that I feel. Oh, yeah. They're ready for this unity. And I feel like with that transcendent unity, this unity has always been in spirit, but it was never physical. You feel me? It was never a physical. It was always in spirit. Okay? So this person started planting new seeds. There go the seeds. Somebody started springing with new ideas. And I feel like with the spring, that's them, them new seeds. They started getting themselves aligned. Okay? And forming a structured, solid foundation to be secured on their own for when they leave. Okay? Yeah. Because see, it's going to be unexpected when this person tell this, tell this karmic that they want to let them go. Because they're coming in to make that offer. I can't make it up. Yeah. There go the illusions and the confusions. That's what this karmic was creating and keeping this person under a soul tie. That's that karmic energy. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Control tactics. Control tactics. You know, holding the kids hostage. And I feel like over the years, this person, whenever they would get into the argument, they would hear this karmic say certain things. Like, yeah, I could take you for what you got. You won't see the kids. Threaten this person. And that was the control tactics that kept this person bound. You feel me? Yeah. Kept them bound. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Ooh. But right now, it says this person, apology and forgiveness, self-care energy. So I feel like this person is learning how to forgive themselves. Okay, and I feel like if they've done anything in the past to keep this... to, I feel like with the apology and forgiveness, this person does want your forgiveness, but... This person is learning how to forgive oneself. That's that self-care energy right here. This person is learning how to forgive themselves because for a long time they felt guilty. Okay? They they had their traditional beliefs right here with that hierophant energy. Yeah, they did. And they were staying right here, but these people who they were around were clinging. These people were were de codependent. You feel me? Yeah. And look what we have here. Nurturing, twin flame, stability, Stuck in the past, suffering. They could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. And there go that masculine. Closed off and resistant to this situation. That's him being distant from this fire sign. Okay? Being very distant from this fire sign. Because this past, this fire sign wants to keep him stuck in the past. Okay? But see, and keep him here for stability, flow, and the harmony. That's that six. But he really wants it with you, Twin Flame. So... I told y'all this is a twin flame connection here for some of y'all. And for some, it's just a soulmate connection here. But that karmic was keeping him bound. Some of them was under soul ties, okay, with those illusions. Some of them was under spells. Some of them were. But that spell has been broken. That spell has been broken. The whole time this masculine was there distancing, distancing himself from that karmic, okay, avoiding her and healing. So, Divine Femme. This is your twin flame coming through, coming in to make this offer. All right, now, they got that mental clarity, like I said, breakthrough. I wish you guys love and light. Yep, they're very closed off. Didn't I tell you they're pulling back their energy from that karmic, and that karmic is with that five of wands, is fighting with this masculine. Fighting with this masculine, because I feel like with that king of swords, that masculine is asking, acting very cold towards her. You know what I'm saying? He's feeling closed off. He's resistant. Four of cups, he don't want no offer from her. He don't even want to have sex with her. No. No. No, she's trying to bring some type of passion to him with this fire energy. But it's like, no, I don't want that. I don't want that because his higher self is being activated. And like I said, his higher self is being activated. All right. So that's what I have here. Yeah. Releasing and surrendering and purging. Some of these masculines was under a soul tie, spell work, sex magic. Okay. All right. That's what I have for you guys. Please love, uh, like, share and subscribe. Click that notification button for when I'm coming with the latest. You guys will be prompt.